Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, we're going to start with career and finance for this week. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius in career and finance. Career and finance for the Aquarius Collective. All right, career and finance for the Aquarius Collective. Okay, we got some cards that fell onto the floor. Looks like we have the Queen of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles. And we have the nine of pentacles. Okay. Uh, you, you just need to, like, do some executive work, some paperwork, some ask the hard questions, answer the questions in terms of your finances, in terms of your business, your career. You need to go over things and make sure it's all making sense. If it doesn't, you need to cut it out. So you need to cut the fat also. I don't know if you're spending too much on one particular thing or several things, but whatever it is, you need to trim, trim, trim the fat here. Uh, in terms of your spending, you you will have some good news that comes into you about your money, about your career. Uh, also, do research and learn about what you can incorporate uh, in your life that will bring you more income. Uh, Continue in education. If you're an employee uh, somewhere, also if you're a business owner, you need to do research in terms of what works because the Nine of Pentacles talks about being a savvy business owner. So you are um, astute, you are aware, you are in the loop you, about the next best thing, about what is working for other businesses. It's almost like you need valuation i don't know if you need someone to come in and kind of white glove your your business your service but um you need like some valuation here in terms of what you're doing i heard scaling so you need to scale some things um you may have had to, some of you had to take a test or you're testing um yeah some of you work with large corporations you may have t had to take a test uh, a test of your skills, skill set, or some acquired skill set, new, new skills here. Um, you also need to get under some guidance, some rulership, some leadership. You need to also have a routine or regimen about what you do or, yeah, or what you incorporate or how you will do something. Um, you need to talk to an expert, somebody that can give you expertise even in your career field, you could be seeing a lot of butterflies. It's like you're going to go through a complete transformation in your career, in your business, what you're trying to incorporate, what you're trying to bring into the world, what you're trying to present. Um, you can't no, you can no longer just talk about it. You need to do something. Um, this is earth of earth. So you need to ground this energy. Some of you have just been in the energy of, of talking or trying to manifest but not enough of actual practical rational plans of doing it go down to the the courthouse or the office that you know gives the permits or the licensing or get your business license or whatever it is you need to do it's, it's like some executive work here um, you need to get clear about what you what it is you want to bring about here. Um, some of you have the resources to actually do this. Um, and then some of you are waiting for resources. Um, some of you need to incorporate something else into your business or you need to get a second job. In order to be more independent. Okay. Um, let's get some closing advice in terms of career and finance. Okay, so the seven of pentacles flipped over like this and the 
as I was shuffling. Um, so there's a period of waiting and it looks like you get good news in terms of money. You have a lot of pentacle cards here. You've done the work, you've put in the time, the manifestation energy. Um, you're just waiting for the harvest here. Uh, but there is a waiting period. There's an anticipation period. There's also a reevaluation. Again, valuation or reevaluation. Um, really knowing what something is worth or what you have to offer. Um, how you are pricing it correctly. You are putting yourself in the market um, accurately. It's like you need to go get some expertise or you need to just research, learn. Um, about what it is you're doing and you, you can't just kind of go on a whim or how you're feeling um, if you're testing with a large corporation it looks like you're going to be you're going to get the contract because this could be contract work with the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords here um, you're going to get the contract or you're going to get the the bid or you're going to get what it is you are looking for forward to yeah this is going to be some su successful completion to a project. If you've been working on something for a while, it looks like it's going to, you're going to have completion here, a reason to celebrate, maybe even taking loved ones or people that you enjoy, taking them out, treating them out because, um, you know, you, you have the money, you have the resources. Um, you also want to celebrate. You want to celebrate this major milestone achievement in your career in finance. A sector here you once again manifestation power is coming up with the magician it says that you're manifesting some big money here um, not only are you manifesting it but you've done the work in terms of wow at the bottom of the deck we have the star card in terms of bringing this money in you have put the hard work uh, the time the effort the resources behind this whatever it is and you're using everything that you have to actually uh, see some profit here um, you, you're some of you. You don't even know your power. You're very powerful. You're very. Um, you have the idea. You move on the idea. You bring it down into the real world, a three D. Um, all manifestations start in your mind. It starts as a thought, as a thought, as an idea. So it looks like you're going to bring it into um, fruition here. You also manifest like something is owed to you, and you're you're manifesting that money be released because there's like a relinquishing or release that needs to happen here i don't know if there's like court or if your money is tied up in a court case or some legalities or some red tape but you you may also be praying manifesting that this be released because it is owed to you it is yours you've been waiting for this um you've you've accepted the period of inactivity where nothing was happening but it now it looks like you you want this to come down you need it to come down here it says that you're on the right path, whatever you're doing, Aquarius, the star card here showing up. It says that um, you could be getting a lot of um, recognition, a lot of eyes on you. You know, at night we look up to the stars, okay? Uh, we look up to the, to the stars for guidance, for clarity, uh, maybe even um, future prediction here. So I don't know if you do something like that, if you're in that arena here where people are looking to you for those different things. Um, healing also restoration and reunion something is coming full circle for you okay so let's jump into um i'm gonna move this let's jump into love and romance that's what you're really here for right yeah. all right but career looks good you don't have any bad cards in career and finance it's just more so a waiting game you have a lot of pentacle cards so it's like some of you are waiting for money to come in you've been waiting for a very long time you've done the work you persevered you're seeing it through um you took a passive approach in terms of uh waiting for your money waiting for things waiting for legal waiting for court case waiting for this waiting for that and at this point you're just ready okay you're ready for the manifestation to happen and it's with the magician showing up it looks like it is also with the four of wands um there's a successful completion you you have been doing this thing and this project for a very long time all right so let's go for uh, love and romance for aquarius okay love and romance for the aquarius love and romance for the aquarius love and romance okay wow the knight of cups here um I'm, okay before i go there all right so then we have the king of cups showing its face we're gonna put it back because it just flipped over um let's see 
see what's going on here for the Aquarius. The Seven of Cups. So we got a lot of love here. We have a lot of emotions. Okay. Um, all right. Yeah. And wow. And then the Page of Cups flipped onto the floor. Okay. So we'll stop here. Um, okay. So Aquarius. It looks like I definitely could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands here. Um, do be dealing with someone from your past. I know you don't want to hear it, but if you're not dealing with this person, then they're showing up in your energy because they want to speak to you. They want they want to reconnect with you. They they want something from you. Okay, you don't have to give it to them. Please spare us all the comments down in the comment section. We we just we as a collective, we, we, we like to say that we really don't care, okay? Um, that you don't care about your ex. Granted, great. Um, it looks like this person is uh, thinking of you, you know, intensely. Uh, daydreaming about you, fantasizing about you. Or this is you, fantasizing about um, someone else that maybe you have a significant history with. If you have a new person here, it looks like it's going really well. There's a lot of emotions here. Um, whimsical, whimsical thoughts of what the future can look like um it says do not procrastinate I'll make something real if it has not been realized do everything that you can do to make it real okay because these are emotions these are cups and we know that emotions come and go they're whimsical so we want to realize them we want to solidify something so we want to get we want to be clear about where we stand with um you know said individual here with the seven of cups here it says that um um, wishful thinking, not enough action, but a lot of, uh, you, w once again, dreaming, daydreaming, wishful thinking, uh, procrastination, overindulging, you know, ODing on the, um, the good feelings of maybe a new relationship. Okay. Rest in that, you know, and the, and the newness is new. It feels good. Um, on the adverse here, there's somebody here from your past, maybe somebody that, didn't realize or solidify the relationship with you um everything was whimsical you know um they made you fall in love with them or vice versa this was you aquarius you fell in love with this person or you made them fall in love with you um and then once they fell in love with you or vice versa you fell in love with them the spark was gone um it was no longer a challenge or maybe this person saw that you had flaws or you saw that they had flaws and you no longer were in love. You went from doing a lot to be, to be in love, to, to find love or find true love. And you went from that to, you know, running off to, so I don't know if there's you or someone else who just doesn't make sure you have realistic, uh, a realistic, um idea approach to love okay um it is real you're dealing with the real people they have real issues real emotions um ups and downs um ins and outs um so so you know that is what the knight of cups is about because this is a person well when we see knights anyway these people are on conquest they are you know they're still in that conquer type of energy they aren't settled or stable you know maybe in the, their you know queendom or as a queen or as a king um they're still on on conquest they're still looking to conquer um so maybe you have someone who is not settled yet um you could be dealing with someone under the age of 40 um someone who just hasn't grown um they could be older uh it's just you know generalization um, this is somebody who they could run hot and cold, um, especially with the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This is somebody who, um, once again, they didn't solidify their relationship. Um, it could have been a lot false start here um, because somebody kept options open. Um, they made you fall in love with them by the illusions that they cast in terms of the relationship. And what it was, um, they just weren't real with you. Uh, this per this might even be a person who's not real with themselves. They overindulge, overdo, over, you know, they just don't know how to find balance. Um, this person had a lot of mystery with them. The magic that they, you know, um, they performed here was uh, one of manipulating your emotions. Or this was you, Aquarius. Um, and I don't think that they 
dislike you or they don't love you. It's just that it's not, it's, this is not stable, you know, um, it comes and it goes, you know, with this person and, uh, the page of cups here. Yeah. A lot of false starts. Um, this person may even want to apologize to you. Some of you understood that this was a false relationship or it just wasn't real. You get some type of psychic download, some clairvoyance. You, you could be psychic. You could get messages, you know, where you listen to your intuition. Things just move you. You could even get a dream here because the night, the page of cups is also about dreams. So you could have gotten a dream that prompted you to maybe check out of the situation or maybe to kind of, um, wing your way out of it. Let's see what else is going on here uh, for the Aquarius and then we'll close out. Where are we? 15 minutes. Trying to keep the show. All right. Where are we in love? All right. Oh yeah, the high priestess. Okay, so um yeah, I think you guys are apart right now. Somebody wants to come back together. They feel like, you know, it's just best for y'all to be back together. Forget what happened, what transpired. Let's come back together. Um, they could have another option also, or this is you, Aquarius. They feel like you are above all of the other women because the high priestess talks about women or um, Aquarius man. You may be dealing with somebody who you feel like, you know, um, they're above all the other women that you know or that in your life. Um, they're very desirable at this point. It feels like they're unattainable for some reason. Um, this like a standstill in energy. There's somebody who doesn't want to be bothered with this because they got some psychic download about what this relationship is or what it isn't. It doesn't resonate with their soul any longer with the high priestess here. This could be you Aquarius or the other person. Um, with the high priestess there, it says that, um, there's something that you know, or there's something that the other person knows. They got, they have major download in their spirit that they couldn't stay in this. Yeah, that something needed to change here with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. They got some major download about maybe a masculine energy. Uh, doesn't have to be, but they got some download about um, a soulmate, soulmate energy how somebody was operating if you were dealing with a woman then this woman was operating in her masculine um, she wasn't presenting herself in the feminine um would you get some type of psychic intuition download about this person they could be a soulmate you were destined to meet them um but at the same time it just seems as if uh, this person maybe you and this person didn't want the same thing um there's something changed here there's some change that happened the wheel started to, to turn. I don't know if, um, I, I can't go into all of that. Yeah. Okay. The star card coming up again and you had it at the other, at the bottom of this deck too. Aquarius, I think you just got back in alignment with yourself here. Understanding that you got to put you first, um, in order for you, for, in order for everyone else around you to be good, you got to put you first. For some of you, you got to put your health first. That was physical health and emotional and mental health. Um, you had to put you first. Uh, somebody was uh, playing on your heartstrings. Uh, again, playing games here with you, but not serious about the connection, not serious about much of anything, not serious even about the other people that they had in, in the connection. It may seem as if they were serious about a particular person, and it might not have been you, but this is a person who's not serious about anything. It seems as if you kind of checked out, again, of the connection, Aquarius or vice versa, the other person did. Um, again not realize the woman in the background maybe you were the other woman aquarius or aquarius man maybe you had another woman and she kind of checked out from you because you didn't solidify the relationship something about not solidifying it someone not knowing where that was going they had to leave because it was it was plaguing them it was you know um not resting easy with their soul and then the universe kept giving them um, intuition psychic downloads dreams um nudges about this person about their energy about this is the person who will waste your time who will waste your years and uh, unfortunately you know i'm you know uh i won't even go into that because we're already not, yeah okay we're already 20 minutes in um 
yeah Aquarius I don't, you know I'm sorry that this old energy is coming up but it's coming up for a reason this is what I have for you in love um you finally understanding that it's also you some of you could also be meeting a new person you know with the page of, of cups here too um maybe the download was that you just need to get out of this energy and meet the new person again if you have the new person here it looks like it's going well you have a lot of likeness and love towards each other solidify the relationship with um maybe uh getting a title taking things to the next level um you know if you're there you you know your life i don't okay um it could be very fanatical right now very you know where you're just you know in that fantasy and that in that early stage and it's good um and then for some of you you have somebody from the from the past who um it looks like they want to resurface here they want a reconciliation they want reunion they want to heal the connection they want to get back in right standing with you aquarius because they see you in right standing with yourself they see you have been chosen yourself or vice versa um what we're going to do um, because i know a lot of people want to know about you know newness and new energy um because there is some newness here for some of you we're going to extend this at the extended we'll talk about new uh new love we'll also talk about this um the business too uh, or your career in terms of what's the next level what can you expect in your career and finance especially if you um are waiting for money if you're in um litigation if you are uh going back and forth with something if you have been patient enough okay and then in love we'll talk about the old and the new all right i hope that it resonated for you that you took something from this reading all links are below get the extended let's talk about it over there ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below um is this old person going to resurface are they coming back should i trust them what do they want questions like that can be asked via text you can text your question pay for your question receive the answer to your question you can also donate to the channel if you feel like you took something from the reading thank you aquarius many blessings to you